<laughs> I can't wait to read Harry Potter to our children. I know! I'm holding out. I mentioned before that I plan on cloth diapering both of the babies. I'm gonna try to start right away. I know some people, they'll do like disposables in the hospital, which we probably will, but then some people will do disposables for the first few months. But I'm gonna start cloth diapering right away. So, I found a huge stash of cloth diapers on like a buy sell trade group on Facebook. This girl, I, I think she just didn't know what she had. Her sister had like given her her entire stash that she used when she was cloth diapering and then this girl decided not to do it. So she just wanted to sell it and get it out of her house. And she sold the entire stash to me for $75. There were like 40, this is only part of the shipment, but there's like 40 total cloth diapers in her stash and some really good brands. So that is a ridiculous deal. Rusty's upset about it. What were the, br what were the brands that were recommended by comments from people? Like Bum Genius is really good, Thirsty's is really good. There's one that sounds like a word, like a Hawaiian word, like kawaii something. And all three of those brands are in this stash. Nice. Yeah. But I also needed some like newborn sized cloth diapers because they're gonna be so tiny. Like typical one size cloth diapers don't work for preemies or like sometimes even newborns. Um, so I needed to get some newborn sized cloth diapers, which I ordered from the Fluffy Penguin, and that's what's in this box. Okay, and she also is a consultant for like a lemongrass spa, so she sent me a baby lotion sample and a catalog. So we'll sift through that. But here they are. I'll have to go through and sanitize all of these. There's Kawaii. Ah, Kawaii. Kawaii baby. What's that? Uh. Elastics, really? What is it? I don't know. What is it? How do you say it? Melekeliki maka. maka. Close. But they have, oh gosh, they're so cute on babies because they're, you stuff them with absorbent pads in here and so they end up just like really fluffy and big on the baby's bottom and they're just ridiculously cute. But they have all of these snaps here. Like this one right here is for when they have an umbilical cord still, I think. It's like, I'm probably totally wrong about all of this. I don't have any idea. Look how many snaps there are. But there's like different ways to snap it. Based it's a on, lot of snaps. Yeah, based on the size of the baby. You, like, you don't use anywhere near all of these at a given time, but anyway, so. There's a kawaii, here's another kawaii, and these are pocket diapers, which means you stuff an insert inside here. Ooh. And then when the baby soils it, you just take it out, throw it in the wash, throw this in the wash. And then when they come out of the dryer, you stuff them so that you have like a stash ready to go to change the diapers. Another kawaii. It just doesn't look like it's gonna be much different from using it's a not. regular old diaper. It's not. The only difference is laundry, and you don't throw it in a landfill. Got some blue ones. I like that they're pretty much all What if we have neutral. two girls? Well, these are gender neutral. <laughs> I'm just kidding, honey. Oh, you can dare with But of course I'm gonna buy more than this. I can't believe I got all of these for $75. Like if you guys cloth diaper, you know what a steal this was. This is crazy. And this oh isn't all of them? This isn't all of them. There's another box that weighs like 13 pounds that she sent. And it's tons of, it's not just the cloth diapers with this stash, it's all the inserts too. There's like 40 something inserts that you put. So, pretty crazy. So these are all kawaii. She must have really liked these. But there are some bum genius ones in the stash and a couple other brands. And then. So tell them what you think about cloth diapering, how you felt at first and how you So of course I was apprehensive about cloth diapering. Uh, really my only experience is with Rachel's sister and she bought some cloth diapers and then just never did it. So basically I'm just uneducated. Um, 
But the more I learn about it, I think the easier it is. And honestly, it's just not very different from regular diapering. Yeah, you won't know any difference because you won't be doing the laundry. I won't? I mean, maybe. I guess you. I just picture me being at home with them. Okay, these are from the Fluffy Penguin Company. And almost all of these are THX brand, which they're pretty reasonably priced. They're like $6 for an all-in-one diaper, which means you don't have to stuff it with anything. These are as close as you get to a disposable diaper. But I got these, a bunch of newborn size all-in-ones with the THX brand, and I looked up reviews and they seem really good. But these are brand new. And this is, this whole stash cost me $93.50. But look how tiny that is. It is tiny. Oh, it's so cute. Like these are. You could probably put that on Iris. Yeah, it'd be fun. These are good for like preemies or multiples because they're so small. They end up like I guess they end up outgrowing the absorbency before they outgrow the diaper. So these will, but with like a premium or a multiple, these will last several months. So I got a bunch of, I got some matchy colors. I thought I got, maybe I didn't. I think I got these two orange ones because orange is Brad's favorite color. So Go Illini. We could put them in matching diapers. And then the teal one was really cute. Polka dot, adorable. Chevron. So cute. So, yeah, so in. Although I feel like Chevron was last season. Doesn't that feel cozy? Yeah, it does feel cozy. It's supposed to be just way better all around, like even for diaper rash and like infection, yeast infections and things that babies can get. This cloth is supposed to pretty much eliminate those. This one has airplanes and sailboats. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Just a plain yellow one. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen you so excited. About diapers? About anything. Really? <laughs> I don't know. This is... These are... The reason I made this purchase now instead of waiting is because of these. They are special, limited edition, Harry Potter themed cloth diapers. Dun dun dun! See, there's robes, nine and three quarters, the Sorcerer's Stone, Quill Pin, a Hogwarts letter, the Deathly Hallows logo, the Stan's bus. How cute. The deer, oh my gosh. The uh, Patronum. Spirit animal. Yeah, so there's that one, but there's also, this is the best. Like a kid on Christmas. This is one of the first big baby purchases. So when you're out and about in your cloth diapering, if you're just gonna be out for the day or for a few hours, and you do a diaper change, then you put it, the dirty diaper in what's called a wet bag. Hey. Rusty. Hey. So this is a, a wet bag with the martyr's map on it. We are so nerdy. Oh my gosh. And so you just throw the diaper in here and it, it won't leak, it's like a, waterproof material on the inside. And then you have a big one of these that you put in like a diaper pail as the liner. And when you do the laundry, you just dump them all in the, the washer and then put the bag in with them. So I got two of those. Three of those. I get three of those? I think one of them, this one's an all-in-one and these two are pockets. And then, oh my gosh, two of these. Look at that! And I got two. That actually kind of looks like Deadpool. What? Deadpool. That's totally Harry Potter. But see how much bigger these are? These are the one size diapers. So these are gonna fit them from like seven pounds to like 30 pounds. Mm. Yeah, just depending on where you snap them. And I think this is a pocket. No, it's just a cover. So you end up doing a a folded diaper, lay it inside there. Let me feel it. Oh, very soft. And this last one, last but probably least, it just has hot air balloons. And this is, it feels like an all-in-one. Oh yeah, this was the charcoal. Um, there's different materials that they make these inserts with, there's like bamboo, cotton, hemp, 
charcoal, and this one's the charcoal. And I think you just have to try out different ones and see which ones you like, but you can always like at bedtime, put this on them with extra inserts in there if they're like a heavy wetter or if they go eight hours a night without waking up so they don't end up leaking, you can add extra layers and customize them for nighttime. So that's my... You've obviously been doing your research on cloth diapering. I've been, I mean, I research it like every single day for probably at least an hour. I feel like I'm prepared. The more I researched it, the less overwhelming it seems and the more exciting it is. They're just so darn cute and they, they look so cute on them. <sighs> I can't wait to put them in these, especially the Harry Potter ones. Too cute. <laughs> I can't wait to read Harry Potter to our children. I know! I'm holding out. Last night was one of the scariest nights of my life. Please, allow Rachel to tell you the story. I'm not going to tell the story. You need to... I wasn't even there. Oh, you were there. <laughs> Brad's going to tell the story. So it's about 1 a.m., I'm assuming. I don't know, because I was sleeping. <laughs> Rachel was sleeping as well. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, I heard the loudest scream I have ever heard in my entire life. I'm not even kidding. It was the absolute loudest scream, and it lasted forever. It was, it was blood curdling. Like, I woke myself up screaming, and my first thought was, who's screaming? But then, like, my voice hurt really bad. It was seriously one of the most scariest things I've ever, like I thought something was wrong like with her stomach and like with the twins and it just absolutely scared, scared me so bad. <laughs> it was like the most bizarre thing ever. Cause I, like I was, I think I was having a bad dream but it was really vague and like all I remember was something coming at me from Brad's side of the bed. And I, like I always dream but I haven't like woken up screaming since probably high school. So it was just, it was really strange. I don't know why it happened. Hopefully that doesn't become a regular thing with pregnancy because it was loud and blood curdling. I'm really surprised that our neighbors didn't wake up and call the cops. <laughs> Seriously. Thanks for watching. If you have any tips on cloth diapering, please leave a comment below. I'm very new to this. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.